going to do a quick tutorial about how I animated the dragon. Here are the three pictures that you will need of the dragon. First is uh, the original downloaded one. Second, you make a cutout uh, with the, one of the things uh, missing. Third, a cutout of the wing that you want to animate. I posted a tutorial about how to make cutouts in GIMP. Now what you do is that you open the animation software, press animate, drop in the wing, expand it, Now you can make different frames of the wing by save video. For example, you can move it, turn it to the other side, stretch it, tiny. And if you click central on the keyboard, it gives this little uh, indication of uh, that you can rotate uh, the object. So how many frames you make uh, depends on how, how much you want to animate uh, the whatever it is you're animating. I made three frames. Uh, and two, rotate, one. Second frame I rotated a bit more. Third frame I didn't rotate, I just moved it to the other side like this. So this created the the three frames combined created the illusion that they would uh, flap uh, uh, backwards. After I after I make the three separate videos of the uh, movement of the wing, I put it in uh, live uh, Windows Live Movie Maker, which is pretty easy. And then you can uh, shorten the distance between each movement. This will make it look faster. You save the, you save the movie. And then you have uh, the animation, which I have right here. See that? It looks like it's slapping backwards. Okay. Now that we have the video, I open the software again, press animate. I drop in the wing. Uh, the video of the animated wing. Expand it a bit. On top of it, I drag the wingless dragon. Dragon without wing. Expand it so that it looks uh, the top and size. And then I save the video. This way, I have the video of the dragon with the wing clapping behind it. Once I make the video, I, I, I close the software and I put the video again in it, and then I can make separate videos of the dragon moving with the clapping wing. Like that. Which I did for my uh, uh, Vantage Point 27 episode. These are all separate videos that you combine later and then you have the dragon flapping its wings and moving. Now it's all in, uh, it has a transparent background. What you can do is this, uh, this background, it can be chroma keyed onto uh, whatever background you want. I use the cloud. Now, 
But of course, the more time you take with it, the better you get uh, the picture and uh, the movement. I brushed through it because it's a tutorial, not the main project. So this is it. This is basically a brief, uh, quick animation. I'm going to show this. So, until the next tutorial, I hope you find it useful.